Yeah, what is going on everybody, Llama here, I've got like a bit of a cold, so I hope I sound alright, so yesterday I uploaded a few videos of MLB 17 The Show livestream, and I haven't made a video on this channel in like 4 or 5 months, I've been making some on my new channel, but there's really just no games out there I want to play, so I'm taking a break from YouTube, but I will be starting back up again with uh, MLB 17, it comes out on the 28th, so 24 days for that to come out. And then um, I'm gonna definitely start off with franchise mode, but probably gonna do Diamond Dynasty too. Let me see. I'm gonna go to GameStop's website real quick. I should probably have this up, but any pre-order bonus, you get a bunch of Diamond Dynasty shit if you pre-order the game. So I think you get like a Ken Griffey Jr. card for Diamond Dynasty if you get the $70 edition. So um, if you're going to get the game, I definitely recommend spending the extra $10. The stuff you get for it is, um, let me see here. Definitely worth ten dollars in my opinion because it would cost you way more um, in microtransactions anyways to try to get it. So if you get the seventy dollar edition, um, you get five thousand stubs which you can use for road to the show or whatever redeem for XP. Uh, gold season starter pack, one sponsor pack, ten standard packs, thirty one PS4 themes, and I thought you got a Ken Griffey Jr. one unless you have to spend a hundred bucks. Let me see. If you do, oh no, if you pre-order at GameStop, you receive uh, 15 standard pack items along with a Ken Griffey Jr. card, so I guess that's a GameStop only. Um, if it's not on the PSN to do that, I probably will pre-order at GameStop, just get the digital version. That's kind of douchey that um, Griffey might be a GameStop only uh, thing, but I'm sure he's still in the game. But to get him at the start is probably what I want to do, so I've been playing a lot of Diamond Dynasty recently, started getting back to this game. And I just got into it way too late. My team is really crappy, but i um, definitely going to do franchise mode. Maybe some Road to the Show, because my Road to the Show gets really good. I just, like, I started playing that again. My guy was drafted by Houston, or he was traded to Houston, rather. I sim like, an entire season, so my stats went from, like, an 88 down to, like, a 78 or something. But we ended up trading and getting Mike Trout on our team. And then we got some, like, ace pitcher, too. So our lineup was just freaking insane. That was the, uh... First time I ever won the World Series in Road to the Show, because usually when I play that, uh, we'll win like 95 to 100 games during the regular season, and then we'll lose in the first or second round of the playoffs every time. So I'm going to definitely continue with that, but like I said, you can do a lot of uh, live streaming Diamond Dynasty, and then Franchise Mode 2, which will be fun. So really excited about this game. Like I said, just took a break because I got stale playing it so much, and there's no other good games out. I was trying to play Call of Duty this year, but couldn't get into uh, Infinite Warfare, and COD 4 Remastered is just a giant camp fest, so not the biggest fan of that, but I might put some more videos up of all the uh, cool new features coming out on this game, just because it's uh, something fun to watch. I like to uh, pull them up and watch them while I've been playing. Um, I've been playing Madden Ultimate Team a lot, get my team up to like a 92 overall. Um, so, yeah, but like I said, definitely coming back when this game comes out. Uh, I'm going to do the videos on this channel, but check out my second channel too, because I'm going to start uploading more frequently on that one. Maybe do some uh, Gears of War, because I just put an update out I saw like yesterday for some new maps. So, thanks for watching, guys. Just a quick little video explaining everything. So, uh, alright, I'm out.